comes to the past, I wouldn't mind do-overs on a lot of things, but uh, mommy taught me um, que todo pasa por una razón. I believe that too. Yeah. So now I, uh, I try to hold on to the good and forget about the bad, and that way I don't have too many regrets along the way. Well, if there's anything at all that I can do for you and your family... I'm going to be fine, Jess. I know. I know you will. Um, I guess I'd better go then. Can you just tell Jamie I, that... Yeah, I will. Okay. I will. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming by. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. You too. She left me. Wait, look. Why would I possibly be happy that Antonio's lost all his money, huh? Means nothing to me. Right. Jessica thinks I'll have your work. She knows exactly what I'm looking for. You're here, right? Have a seat. Listen, Nash, my day job, I'm used to taking orders, even from family, and I don't have a problem with that. But uh, I haven't done a lot of commercial gigs, which means I'm not about to do anything that's gonna compromise the integrity of my work. Wouldn't dream of asking you to. But I, I do have some pretty specific parameters as to what I'm looking for. I get it. You're the boss. Can be a problem for you? I guess we'll see. Yeah. This is good. This is a good look for me. <laughs> Done. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You know, the last time I remember us looking like this was when uh, we got a flat tire on the way to homecoming. Do you remember that? Here, let me... Let me take care of your mustache. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I... I... It's hard for me to turn the mother gene off. I'll use the other side. I'll buy you a new outfit. Don't be silly. Um, this, this will come right out. I'll just put my sweater back on. Ah, uh, it's Adriana. What time is your plane getting in? 11.47, but I'm not going to be on it. Why not? Well, a new client wants to schedule a meeting, and it's going to take me a few days to get the samples together. I swear, I was seriously about to catch a cab to the airport when they called. Oh, man. It's good for business. Well, you look on the bright side. How much longer are you going to have to stay? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I miss you so, so much. Shatem. Je... Me too. Sorry to bug you again. What's up? <clears throat> Minor mishap. When Mr. Buchanan, Jared, gets back, do you want me to tell him that Mr. Buchanan... Bo was looking for him? Uh, yes, but please send him here first. Okay. Gigi. Question for you. Sure. You knew Charlie in Texas for how long? Seems like forever. Did he ever mention anything about his past? No. Then again, I never asked. I don't like people digging into my business, so I try to give them the same courtesy, you know? <clears throat> now that my printer is working again, I'll be right back with those letters for you to sign. <laughs> I, I don't really know how you can be nice to me after everything. Oh, Marcy. Marcy, I know what it is to love a child beyond reason, okay? And I also know what it is to have a child taken away from you. And you think you have to go on, but you don't know how it's possible. You know, you weren't thinking rationally when we were together at the diner, or the whole time that you were on the run. And I understand that more than 
more than you could possibly know. That was not you pointing a gun at me. But Tommy, Sam, he's your nephew. Yeah. I also know how much you love and always will love that little boy. He has a wonderful home with Todd. He does. I try to tell myself that about a hundred times a day. He does. And you know, to see you walk in here with Shane and to see how you've, you know, connected with Gigi and Shane, it's, it's good. Yeah, well, Gigi was really wonderful to me, you know? And to me. Thank you for not wishing I were in jail. Oh, come on. I would never. <laughs> I wished it, you know, for a while. I mean, sometimes I think I still wish it because it would be a lot easier than having to face my old life. But then you wouldn't have Michael. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, you're right, you know, he makes me see what I, what I need to be grateful for and what I still have. And not just him, but the chance to start my, my life over again. And I am, I'm, I'm trying to do that, you know, I, if I can. You can. You so can. You're gonna need your friends. And I sincerely hope that you will always consider me one of those. If you really want to hurt Vicky so badly, why don't you just get it over with? Just tell her what Jared and I have done to her family. Because each day that Vicky spends with you, she falls a little bit more in love. The longer I delay, the more wrenching the pain will be when I finally do tell her the news. Damn you. What? What? I am not the one who lied to the woman I supposedly love or lied to Rex. Who thinks you're his father, by the way? As long as you are the father of my daughter's fiance, if I want you to make sure that that wedding never happens, you will do it. You will help me. The hell I will. Oh, really? You and your ingrate son will do what I say when I say it. And that's all there is to it. In the meantime, I suggest that you enjoy yourselves. Mm -hmm. This could go on for some time. No reason why you shouldn't make the most of it. <laughs> uh, bien, too. Dorian, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs>